Didn't take long to lower the tone, did it? So we're off on our first day's ride at Tuxford. Me and Paul got here about 7, 7.15 last night. Uh, it was a three hour, long, slow, 100 mile ride in dark, dingy clouds and that sort of misty type rain that gets everywhere. Horrible ride really, to be fair. And, and, I hadn't really set my sat nav up properly. Didn't put much in the way of waypoints in. And it decided not to stay on the main road. And it kept taking us off, diverting us round, round towns. It meant we ended up on a fair few country lanes, which is all right, to be fair. Rocky I've got no objections to that, except don't really want to do it in the wet, you know what I mean. Um, so we, we didn't actually film anything. You wouldn't have seen anything, so we, we never really bothered. What are you doing here? We got here. I'd say seven, oh. quarter past seven last night, got the tents pitched. Um, Paul and Janet put on pizzas, cheers, drinks, all sorts of stuff. We were really, really well looked after. But me being a hungry sod, a real hungry sod, got on the phone to me missus and I'm, I'm, I'm walking away from the campsite just chatting, you know how the ride went and all of that sort of stuff and I came upon the town's kebab house and I checked their closing times and it weren't that bad I had time to get back to the campsite pick up my wallet and get back to the kebab house I got myself kebab and chips got back to the site, opened up the bag, no fork so I sat there chatting with everybody chomping on my kebab and chips with my fingers not wrong with that, is there? I went to bed early last night, more or less as soon as I'd finished my kebab. It'd been a long day. I hadn't been in work, but it'd been a long day. And I get tired really easy these days. I think it's called being old. Really? Pretty much. I slept well. Um, I brought a three man tent. The door's uh, it's a bit rainy, and the door is it's directly over the top of where my pillow would normally go. So um, when I went into the tent to get everything set up, there was water dripping in, and it dripped in onto the, uh, onto the ground sheet area inside the tent as well, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know these things happen, you learn not to leave that door so wide open, don't you? Other than that, it's quite a nice, a nice sleep. Yep, soon caught up. Good ride though. Yeah. It was bloody awful yesterday. But it wasn't like it was a downpour, you're just riding through like a mist the whole time. Today, we're heading over uh, Mablethorpe somewhere. Um, I think it's not Mablethorpe, I think it's Sutton something or other, Sutton on the Sea or something like that, that's where we're going. Um, I'm going to stop off at Willenhall, I believe, and then the next part of it will get us down, down to the coast. Um, I've periodically looked at this part of the country, and every time I put Google Man down on the road, it looks like a straight line. And it's one of the reasons why I've never actually found my way over here. But, Paul and Jan live here. 
and they've picked out apparently some good routes for us. So I'm looking forward to some good riding today. What I am noticing, when we set off, we're heading for Wilmington Woods, I think it is. And on my sat nav it said something, something daft, like 20 miles to get there. But the 20 miles hasn't reduced, hey, it's Penny. stayed. And in fact it's varied, sometimes it's gone above 20 miles, sometimes it's come back down to 20 miles, and some part times it's gone back up above 20 miles again. It's like we don't seem to be getting any closer to Wilmington Woods, or Willington Woods. I'll, I'll, I'll put the name up, I'll, I'll put it up on top. Um, so I think Paul's picking a bit of a more convoluted route than my sat nav would pick. Bear in mind it's only got an endpoint to work with. But that's alright, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to assume he's picking the good roads and he's having to go a bit off the direct line to find them. That's alright. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you would have been technically accurate if you could spell. <laughs> That's because I rub them all the time. Always a car there when you want to overtake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I love it when I see a biker do that. I love it when I do it. Gotta admit, most of the time when I do it, it's a line of cars. A bit, Russell. I think this might be Wilmington Woods. I don't know. Um, can't, can't. Oh, there they are. They're over there. That's fine. I'll, uh, I'll just go straight through this lot. Food. Hey, toilets. Yes, I'll be needing those. 